Hi, this is Jeffrey from My MTB Guide, and today we're looking at the Evoc FR Enduro Team Backpack. This backpack is, as the name suggests, an enduro oriented backpack, but definitely not limited to only enduro. One of the main features is its integrated back protector that protects your back at a minimal comfort and weight penalty. It also takes most of the practical features from the other backpacks in the lineup, making the FR Enduro Team Backpack also interesting for more general trail riding. So, let's take a closer look. The Evoc FR Enduro Team is one of the lightest backpacks with back protector in the wide range of Evoc backpacks, while still maintaining most of the features. Going over the lineup you'll see that the differences between these backpacks aren't that big. Looking specifically at Enduro backpacks, which are the FR Enduro, Enduro Team and Enduro Blackline, you'll see that the differences get even smaller. Over the standard Enduro model, the FR Enduro team features additionally a hip belt pocket and stronger branding on the backpack. And the Blackline model has improved ventilation over the team model and also features a flexible hip belt. Now that the differences are clear, it's time to look at the features of the FR Enduro team. Starting from the outside, you have the possibility to strap a full face helmet to the backpack or, alternatively, store your XC helmet. At the bottom you find a hidden zipper that exposes two straps that you can use for your knee and elbow protectors. The sternum strap is height adjustable and the buckle doubles as a whistle. The right shoulder strap features a hydration clip which can also be switched to the other side. The wide hip belt has a velcro strap combined with a buckle and features a small hip belt pocket. The top pocket has a soft lining suited for your sunglasses but also a clip for your keys. This pocket is just big enough to even put your goggles in it. The whole front flap can be completely folded down, keeping everything stored in the flap in place with closable storage pockets. This also gives easy access to the tool compartment with numerous pockets to keep everything organized. Inside the main compartment you have a pocket for a 3 liter hydration bladder and the light shield back protector is installed behind it. This leaves enough room for a jacket, other extra clothing, spare tubes and other stuff you want to take along for the ride. The complete backpack, including back protector, but without hydration bladder, comes in at around 1150 grams, which is 100 grams more than the claimed weight of 1050 grams. The light shield back protector by itself weighs 162 grams, which is a small weight penalty and comparable to bringing an extra banana on your ride. The Evoc FR Enduro team is priced at 170 euros retail and the quite similar regular Enduro and the Blackline model are priced at 160 and 180 euros retail. Check the links in the video description for more up-to-date pricing. Note that the backpack does not come with a hydration bladder and can set you back another 20 to 40 euros. Anyone can put the label back protector on something, but that doesn't really mean anything unless it's tested and certified. And only this way you can expect a certain level of protection. The light shield back protector in the FR Enduro team is EN1621-2 certified. What seems good, but let's go quickly over what this means. The EN1621-2 is a standard that states the requirements and testing methods for motorcyclists back protectors. There isn't a specific standard for mountain bikers, but this comes close enough to be significant. The important function of a back protector is to reduce the forces of an impact so that the residual forces that are transferred to your back are kept to a minimum. The EN1621-2 defines two levels of protection and are based on those residual forces, which in this case are a result of specific tests. In one of the main tests, a weight of 5 kg falls from a 1 meter height on specific parts of the back protector. If the average residual force is below 18 kN, it complies to level 1. If its average is below 9 kN, it complies to the higher level of protection, level 2. Evox states that the light shield back protector achieves in these tests a residual force of 9.75 kN, which is close to level 2, but well within the level 1 requirements. Evox includes their light shield and light shield air back protectors in their crash replacement program. This usually means that you can buy a replacement at reduced cost, but Evox will send you a new light shield back protector if after inspection it does need replacement at no extra charge. When riding with the FR Enduro team, it quickly becomes clear that it's a stable backpack. 
the low profile and large contact area of this backpack definitely contribute to this. With a full face helmet on your backpack, you would expect that it pushes the backpack from side to side in the corners, but this is not the case. You can even hardly tell the difference between a full face helmet or just packing your backpack a bit heavier. On rough terrain, you will notice the minor instability with a full face helmet, but with a much lighter XC helmet, this is not the case. The straps for your knee and elbow protectors are easy for quick access. However, they tend to loosen a bit during a long ride. I would recommend putting the straps through the loops of the protectors if possible. With a large number of pockets, it's easy to keep everything well organized and it's easy accessible, so you can quickly get something out of your backpack and continue your ride again. The backpack has a wide hip belt, which in my opinion could be a bit smaller to improve comfort, but the overall comfort of this backpack is great. Only in hotter circumstances, 30 degrees Celsius and up, is where the large contact area and somewhat lack of ventilation cause it to be somewhat hot on your back. And these two points happen to be somewhat addressed in the FR Enduro black line, with improved ventilation and a flexible hip belt to improve comfort. The EVOC FR Enduro Team is a versatile and feature-rich backpack that is suited, but not limited to, Enduro racing. One of the main features is its integrated back protector, which, at just a small weight penalty of 162 grams, can reduce the chance of serious back injuries. The backpack itself features 16 liters of well-organized storage space. On the outside of the backpack, you can mount your XC or a full-face helmet and knee and elbow protection. Inside you find lots of pockets, with some of them conveniently closable. There is also a large compartment, which allows you to store bigger things, and this is also where the removable back protector and the hydration bladder reside. The bladder is however not included. On the trails it performs like a backpack should, largely unnoticeable. It's stable and not that heavy, with an empty weight of about 1150 grams. Fully packed it still performs really well, due to the large contact area and its low profile. The EVOC FR Enduro team is hard to fault feature-wise, and the points that I have are minor and from a more personal perspective. I found the hip belt to be a little wide for my liking, and it tends to get hot during rides above 30 degrees Celsius. What's left is the price. At 170 euros retail, the EVOC FR Enduro team is quite expensive, and for that price you still have to buy a hydration bladder, which adds about 20 to 40 euros. But this does mean you can use your existing bladder or choose one you like. Don't forget that the FR Enduro comes with an integrated back protector. Buying a back protector separately would cost about 100 euros. And looking at it this way, the 170 euros for this backpack seems more reasonable. The excellent quality of the FR Enduro team, the convenient features and the certified back protector make this a nearly complete backpack that is very well suited for Enduro racing and versatile enough to fit other styles of riding. Thanks for watching my review of the EVOC FR Enduro team. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. My MTB guide brings you product reviews, how to's and trail highlights. So if that's what you're into, definitely subscribe and you'll be notified when a new video goes online. Have a nice day and I'll see you the next time.